morning guys um, it's actually this afternoon but uh, I have a surprise for you guys guess what we got today today is December 20th and we have a brand new baby girl her name is Holly this is a week early, just in time for Christmas. Mom and baby are doing just fine. She was born sometime this morning. I don't know exactly when, but uh, but here you go. Last baby of 2020. Um, Mama's doing good. Baby's doing excellent right now. Came down to check on him. So this morning I came down to feed like normal. Um, and then I just heard a different sound that I haven't heard in a while. And uh, got him in that krill and, and uh, got him going. Um, if you can see, our hoses have been freezing, so I had to run a hose from the house clear out back so we could get water and a water trough for her. So that's pretty good that we've got one more baby. Finish up 2020. Um, I'll have quite a few more come this February so there's that um, here is tax shed it's pretty much done now uh, don't don't look up there don't look at those straps we got everything done posting everything put in got the door put on it does lock and latch on the inside here yeah there's there's we still got to button up that wall we still don't know why it's coming apart but uh, you know you can see quite a good daylight there so the old tech shed here will have saddle racks and and uh, um, stuff there um, on this side we're gonna put a, a fridge uh, I don't quite know what we're going to be doing yet. Um, we're going to be hanging um, chairs and stuff on this side. Um, our plastic tables will be in here. Um, there will be an electrical panel here. Um, to give us electricity. So it, it's it's getting pretty much done. Um, I don't know if my uncle's going to be down here to do the electrician part. But uh, he knows how to run Skype. So, we might have to be doing that. But, great day for everybody. Got a calf. Um, she was supposed to be born on the 27th, a couple days after Christmas. But, we have this uh, new thing going on. Um, if it's, if it's going to be a girl, they come a little early. So, so she's a couple days early. So, makes her a girl. So, we'll be watching her next couple weeks. Um, they'll be in this pen um, for a couple more weeks, and then uh, they'll be she'll be kicked out with everybody else and uh, live a normal life. But yeah, we got tech shed done. Put this beam up. We had to uh, um, put up a strap to hold this beam up. Um, all of our, you know, I'd make a strap for it. Um, I went to four different places here in St. George, and not one of them has the right Simpson since I'm saying it wrong Simpson tie straps. Um, I needed like the H eights, I think. Um, but. Um, 
we got it to work for right now. I am going to be ordering some right, um, the right ones. Um, but it's all put up in place. We're going to put up, put a uh, deck board down. I know that uh, you're supposed to just have it open, but uh, we're going to make it work. Inside, I don't know what we're going to be doing just yet um, for the flooring. Yes, it does still squeak. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to hook it down. Um, I've screwed all of the, the joints and all the excuse me, all the beams and stuff, but you can still hear it still squeaks. Don't have a clue why. But it's gonna look nice once it's all done. Um, stay tuned, I'll I'll uh, I'll show you the uh, ending part of it. Um, everything that's um, in our garage right now is coming out here to the shed. Um, I've got um, a, a company called uh, Simply Safe. Um, we're going to be getting cameras and stuff for that since since we got this new tack shed, and my renters and stuff will have their tack in here, so we'll be um, getting a little bit more safer. Um, our neighborhoods, you know, there is a little bit of crime in there, but it's pretty good. Um, we do have a bark alarm. Um, all the neighbors, the sun's kind of bright right now, but all the neighbors on our back, you know, they, they, uh, they keep us informed and, and anything that, that goes wrong out here, they pretty much call us and make sure everything is nice and buttoned up. So, new calf. Um, December 20th, 2020. Um, a few more days and we'll be into 2021. Um, hopefully everything is going good with you guys. Um, Merry Christmas if I don't make a video between then and here. And uh, Happy New Year guys. So uh, hopefully everybody is going to be you know, having a uh, good next year. Um, for the ranch, we are going to be on track of opening back up. Um, we've got some uh, feedlot steers coming. Um, I don't know when they're going to be here, but uh, it's kind of a hush-hush. Don't say anything to the family members. Um, but uh, if you guys need some beef, let me know. Um, it probably won't be till like April or May, but we're on track of getting some more meat and getting into business um, so let me know send me an email or a text um, um, phone lines are still all open websites open um, can't buy anything but you at least can uh, see what we're doing um, my sister made some um, it's called awesome sauce and then we have some barbecue sauce coming out. Um, we just made a new line of uh, uh, spices. Um, we still have the two original ones, the original spice and then the natural spice. And then we came out with a new one. We do have some testers, some different people of the family um, that are testing it out for us. Um, seeing what we need to adjust on the seasoning part of it. But other than that, we'll, we'll have some great stuff coming out um, between now and the first of the year. Um, so stay tuned, guys. Lots of video, lots of content coming. Um, we'll be, um, like I said last time, um, this big trailer of mine. Um, we'll be doing um, a whole bunch of re some makeover and stuff on it. Um, I am thinking about repainting my truck, so it's a different, a little bit more of upgrade. It's uh, not so ox oxidized. Um, our tractor is going to be in the shop, which is our garage, and is going to be getting a, a tune-up. Um, we found out that uh, it's actually the pump that is uh, gone bad. Um, I'll put a little clip in there to 
kind of a, a funny clip of, of how we got the uh, bucket to come up on the tractor um, yesterday but I'll put that clip in there um, so all's good um, we'll have um, we got two fences going up next year we got seating to be done um, we're doing a lot uh, keep praying for rain we, we surely need it here um, so till then catch you guys later be safe and Stay tuned. How do they make your old Ford 600 raise its bucket? Change the oil in it, hydraulic oil, change the oil on in the motor, and still won't lift the bucket. Let me know.